Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gus. Bring you another gameplay commentary. The gameplay you're watching right now is from Black Ops 2. And uh, pretty happy with this gameplay. Pretty decent score. I was pretty proud of this gameplay. And I have a couple more like this, actually, where I'm moving around, being active. And that's why I wanted to bring this gameplay to you, people. I wanted to bring you this gameplay because... Whoever watches this, I want to show you that, you know what, you can be aggressive. You can stay active. You don't have to be cheesy in order to get good scores in this game. Now, I'm not the best player. And I always highlight that and bring that to everybody's attention in every game because I want, I do that on purpose to show you that, hey, you know what, you can get good scores without playing like a dirtbag. Without hiding in the corner playing like a bitch. You don't have to do that. You know, you don't have to lower yourself and, you know, just just be freaking weak, you know. I mean, that, that doesn't improve your look. It doesn't improve the game. It just makes it more of a shitty experience for everybody. So, check out the video. You can see what I'm talking about. I try to stay active. I try to keep moving. And I just think that if everybody played the way I played, you know, Call of Duty would be a, a way better game. The gaming experience would improve so much if people played this way. If they just moved around, worried less about their precious KD, and worried more about enjoying the game. Having a good time, you know, not worrying about, oh shit, I need to get this, you know, 15 kill, you know, kill streak or whatever to impress my friends. Because at the end of the day, no one really gives a shit. But anyway, moving on to the commentary, what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about those YouTube channels and com commentators that are pretty much based on giving tips and tricks. Now, the way I feel about those tips and tricks, you know, commentators, well, not the commentators, more, more the videos, is I think that as far as, you know, them improving your game and making you a better player, I just think that a lot of those videos are 100% bullshit. They're, they're not going to help you. You know, now, a little a little disclaimer. I'm not trying to give anyone shit and, you know, tear somebody down. That's not what I'm doing here. You know, for all you people out there that are doing these tips and tricks, you know what? You're making a shitload of money or you enjoy doing it. You know what? More power to you. Keep doing what makes you happy. You know, that that's great. A lot of people might not like what I'm doing. And that's cool because I'm happy doing what I'm doing, making these types of videos. So... I'm going to keep doing them. So, same thing goes for you. If you're happy doing tips and tricks and you're making boatloads of money, hey, you know what? Great for you. Keep doing it. Whatever. But just, in my opinion, I just think these videos are 100% bullshit and they're not going to help anyone improve their game. At the end of the day, there's three important things to being a good player. The most important thing, in my opinion is you have to have good aim. You have to have great aim if you want to be a good player. Hand-eye coordination, important thing. You know, being specific with Call of Duty, you know, the faster you pinpoint your target, the faster you can get your sights on the target and get bullets in them, the faster you're going to get that kill. So that that is key. If you're able to line someone up faster than your opponent, you're going to win those gun battles most of the time. That goes to important factor number two, which is, of course, the lag and your internet connection. Your internet connection needs to be at least at the level of your competition or else you're going to get your ass kicked most of the time. So that's the important thing number two. Good internet connection is a must if you want to be a good player. You know, and that'll, that'll often pretty much be the main factor in people losing gunfights is their shitty connection. And number three, your gameplay style. That's the only thing that you can actually change, you know, within yourself to be a better player. No amount of shitty, cheesy-ass videos and tips and tricks is going to make you a better, is going to make you a better player. If you want to be a better player... Just go out there and watch some of these uh, better commentators, you know, Sandy Ravage, whoever. Watch how they play 
and see if you can emulate that. If you have that kind of aim, that kind of hand-eye coordination, you're going to be in business. But if you don't, you're pretty much going to be stuck where you're at. You know, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4, and my KD has pretty much been consistent since then. You know, I took my fair share of beating, so my KD is the lowest in Call of Duty 4, but it's pretty much leveled out within the last four or five Call of Duties. And pretty much based on my playing style, it's going to pretty much be steady. Now, if I want to change that, you know, change how I play, camp more, do that kind of shit, yeah, you know what? I could raise my KD, but is it going to make me a better player? I don't think so. I don't think having a high KD necessarily makes you a better player. It might make you, I don't know if you want to call it a smarter player. You know, I call it playing more like a bitch, but whatever. Whatever you call it is fine. But again, I don't think it's going to make you a better player to watch these videos and see some guy say, oh, you know what, you can use this cheesy weapon because... Again, that's not making you a better player to use the cheapest shit. It's just making you a cheap player. But as far as overall talent and skill, if you've been playing Call of Duty for six months, that's pretty much as good as you're going to get. You know, you can change up your strategies. Again, use cover more. Aim down the sights. You know, do stuff like that. But as far as overall skill level, you are what you are. And it's best that you just accept it. You know, now if you're one of these older people that go to these tips and tricks website, you know what? I've got to make a separate video for you guys because that's pretty pathetic. Now, some of the young guys who want to get better at the game, you know what? I'm not going to talk shit about little kids. More power to you if it helps. You know, if it makes you feel better to try this stuff out. Go on and continue what you're doing. But I just I just think at the end of the day, you're not really going to get any better. And you are who you are. You know, you've, you've pretty much at this point, you know how good of a player you're going to be. If you need to change up your style, maybe, maybe you're, you know, being silly. But this is all stuff that you can find out on your own. If there's certain spots in the map where you're getting killed, you know what? Maybe you should avoid those those spots. You know, they're pretty much a lot of these tips and tricks videos. It's just common sense bullshit. You know, it's not anything that is groundbreaking stuff where you're going to be like, oh my god, I went from having a 0.5 KD to having a 5.0. It's just not going to happen. You know, so again, I'm not trying to trash anybody, but I just think that a lot of these tips and tricks you know, channels and stuff, they just give people false hope that all of a sudden they're going to fucking be beasts and be MLG and shit. And it's just not going to happen. That You are what you are. And if you suck now, you're going to suck after you watch their videos. And that's just all there is to it. So, you know, just accept it. Play the game. Be happy. And, you know, don't resort to cheap tactics. Don't, you know, try this shit and lower yourself just to try to get a better KD so anyway this video is wrapping up you know uh, again I'm not trying to bash anybody I just think that tips and tricks they're just bullshit and they're not gonna get you anywhere so anyway hope you enjoyed the video I'll be back with more soon and I'm out